Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second time I'm trying to film this video because apparently um, I didn't actually have the audio of the video in the video. Let's fucking go. A uh, lovely member from my Discord brought this to my attention and I feel like an idiot and I do appreciate them um, calling me out for it. Because now I only look like kind of an idiot because I'm fixing that mistake. Um... Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Um. Uh, Lexus. Okay, so today, talking about the uh, fucking new Lexus ad. Also. Because, sorry, I had paused OBS recording and wasn't sure if it was on. Um, but also, I will be talking about slicker drama tomorrow and everything that surrounds that, just kind of as a recap for those who didn't know or are just need a little recap. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much, but it won a poll I did on my Twitter, which is going to be linked in the description. And I hope that you guys do enjoy this uh, fucking shit show that we're about to watch. This is the Lexus Commercial 2020 Go All In Ad Review, is what it's called. It's If you just look up Lexus Commercial 2020, it's the first one that pops up. It's not actually a review. It's just it, like, twice with some slowed down parts at the end and beginning. But, yeah. Um, this is bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. They make sure to uh, target and attack every group of everyone that's on the internet. So... No coiner. What the fuck is a no coiner? No one has ever said that. This whole moon. moon. They're trying to make it Gen Z. Crypto is fucking bullshit. No one Gen Z likes crypto. Thank you. Fragging is like in Valorant, because I play Valorant, and I actually stream Valorant a little while ago. You should watch my streams. I'm gonna play Valorant. I hate the game so much, but I will continue to play it simply because why not? Um, fragging in Valorant. There's top fragging and bottom fragging. Top fragging is when you're at the top of the leaderboard, meaning you have the most kills. Bottom fragging, as you can probably assume, is where you're at the bottom. So fragging C makes no fucking sense, okay? Rez hit me. Got your ult. Hell yeah, baby. You got your ult. It's ult. Ultimate, but close enough. Almost. That probably just pissed off some driving people, and if you're a driving person, let me know. For people that like soccer, let me know about that. For let people that f <laughs> fucking know NASCAR, tell me how cringe that guy was. That guy has never set foot in a neck in a Lexus. You can see there's not even a second person there. There's just that one like face right there. You can kind of make out. Uh, but yeah, there's no one over there. Oh, that poggers! That is the most cringy, and this is the most cringy frame from this whole thing. It's so gross. It's so gross, and I don't like it. This whole thing. Sticking down the onion bag. Is that a fucking soccer reference? What the? F I've never heard someone that plays soccer say "stick it in the onion bag." That is just simply not something anyone has ever said. So as you can tell, Lexus is uh, very cool, very hip, knows what the kids want these days. They want poggers cars, they want their cars to be popping off, uh, you know, they want your crypto to go to the moon so that way when you're driving your fucking Lexus, you can go to the moon fucking get rich as hell, get rich quick. Uh, <laughs> it's it's so dumb. Uh, marketing, I think, is going to try to tailor to Gen Z people now, because Gen Z people can drive and are getting money, kind of. Uh, all the Gen Z people that have money to buy this are people that invested in crypto when it was like five cents and then sold it instantly when each of their five cents cryptos was like thirty thousand dollars 
So that's how they have the money to get the Lexus, and that's why they had crypto at the beginning. I'm sure of it. Um, and then they just fit niches, but their niche fitting was really bad, and it just made it more cringe and made me never want to look at a Lexus again. Um, tomorrow we're going to be talking about Slicker. Day after we're going to be talking about how Twitch hired a fucking child predator onto their uh, platform, which has primarily people from the ages of 14 to 17. So I'll see you later. Goodbye. Subscribe if you want to.